you doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, Friggin' Belsif. Friggin' right am, boys and girls. Well, today is supposed to be X-Max day, but right now it's wet out still and it's been raining, so I don't want to go over that mud pit, boys, girls, peoples, until it dries up a little bit, because it's muddy over there and I don't want to get it real badly muddy. So you're gonna have to hang tight. I'm in a lot of pain today, boys, girls. <laughs> I sneezed last night. I think I friggin' dislocated a rib. Holy. I had a snowmobile accident. Bop, bop. Sit there about, I don't know, 10 years ago. Yeah, probably be 11 years ago. About 11 years ago. Fucked myself up pretty bad, I did. So I think I'm still tender in there from that. But last night I was laying down on the couch watching a movie and I gave her one of those, you know those sneezes where you <laughs> Right? And holy, it popped, boys. And I'm telling you right now, huh. <sighs> It friggin' hurts, man. Right, right there, hey? So leave your comments down below if you've ever done that and tell the dirty old bills of how you felt, hey? Friggin' right, you better. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button if you like this kind of stuff. And don't forget to uh, leave a comment down below if you like seeing me in pain. Why wouldn't you? But yeah, I'm gonna try to get up and do an RC, but I don't know, boys, because it, it's it's sore. I, I'm, I like pain, but this is just... It hurts. It does, especially to go... <sighs> Oh yeah, that hurts bad, boys. Whew, hey, frig. On a good note, the X Max is running good. I tested her last night to make sure it's gonna be good to go today, and it's gonna be good to go today. So we're gonna get her done, hopefully today. But if we're not, I'll be back anyways to let you know what else has went on today. Why wouldn't I? But I just wanted to fire on here real quick, get the day started, see if I can get some ambition, get some pills in me, and get motivated, boys, girls, peoples. Cause I don't want to right now. Frig, no, I don't. I gotta clean my glasses. I can't see dicks. Which is probably a good thing. Who wants to see dicks? I should start saying I can't see puss, eh? Well, I guess my chance of seeing puss is as good as my chance of seeing dicks. Just ask my wife. Been married for 27 years, boys. No such thing as puss when you're been married 27 years, boys. And if you do, good for you. Leave a comment down below and let me know how that works. Friggin' right, you better. And don't tell me you have a girlfriend, because that doesn't work either, boys. I ordered a new, I, I had a problem. I want to tell you the story, first of all. Maybe I shouldn't. No, I'll tell you anyways. I ordered a, uh, I have a, you know, the little, what do you call them things in the window there? The dash cam there in the truck Ruski. On the side, it's got the button for the manual record, eh? So if you see something you want to keep, you hit. Manual record will now start, right? Well, it quit working. So I called the company and they said, no problem, we'll warranty it, but we need your receipt. I was like, well, I bought it a year ago. I don't know where my receipt is. Like, you know, I got it from Best Buy, this, that, the other thing. They said, we'll go to Best Buy and they'll give you a copy if you bought it there, this, that, the other thing. And I thought to myself, yeah, it sounds like a bunch of work to me and not really into it. So I just ordered another one, boys. Give her a little swap of Ruski and send her back. <laughs> Jim? That's how you warranty him. So if anybody wants to warranty something, buy her up, throw her in the box, send her back. Jim? Just like my power washer. I'm gonna have to do that too. Actually, no, I got it work. I got it running right, I do. I don't know if I'm gonna put any of this in my video because I'm just a shyster. Uh, oh, I care. Oh. But you got. Ow. You gotta do what you gotta do in this world to stay ahead. Hopefully, everybody's staying safe, staying quarantined like I am. I don't even know what day it is right now, to be honest with you. It's Sunday, boys. Hey, tomorrow's Monday. <laughs> oh. Feels like there's a bubble right there. Anyways, tomorrow's Monday, boys. Maybe we'll get something in. I got something coming in the mail that I'm gonna show you. Coming up, friggin' right I am. So it gives us something to do here down the old Bilsev's office. Give yourself something to do, boys. Just so you know, if you have a drone like I do and you're out and about in public and stuff like that and somebody questions you about what you're doing, print off some of these and just hand it to them, boys. So here you go, sir. Here's the rules. Thank you, have a good day. And it stops any arguments or whatever because everybody wants to argue with you anymore. We all know that. And I'm just as bad. I get pissed off. Goes to show you that everything in the world going on right now, everybody's temper is very low. So we gotta be careful, we do. Careful out there and just mind your own damn business. Whatever, bud, have at her. Just mind your own damn business and we'll all get along. Friggin' right we will. I'm gonna go upstairs maybe take a couple of uh, pain pills. See if we can't get an RC or two going. Hey boys and girls, just so you know, it's about two hours later since I started this. And I'm actually still working on HRB batteries, boys. I got a bad cell or a low cell here, but I also have very bad connections. So I'm trying to fix this one. Now you got a new connection on that one, on the old uh, 
balance port there. This one's got a bad cell too. So we got a couple batteries that are just cocked over right now. I'm trying to fix them up, boys. Sometimes we gotta do what we gotta do. So right now I just got a soldering gun heated up and we're gonna solder a new end on here and see how this goes. It's really hard when you have eyeballs like mine. Bought this kit off of eBay. And of course it's just a piece of shit. Like everything else, right? Decent. I'm sure there's a tool for this, but I don't have it, boys. Then we gotta bend these tabs in one at a time or everything will just get cocked right over there we go but you probably won't be able to see that but there it is right there boys that's how small it is eh you won't be able to see it it won't focus on that it's too small solder to her maybe we'll have to see solder got i left plugged in out in my garage <laughs> for like six months boys and then i wonder why my hydro bill is so high it's freaking hilarious it was freaking right it was it might not even work because of that actually frank i don't have anything to see my tip with what she said. Something's loose. I don't know what. Come on. What the F? Oh, God, boys. Screws are all stripped and cocked over. Holy, you can see way back here, gentlemen. It's too close. Come on. <sighs> Must have to invest a new soldering gun there, boys. I mean, the dirty old rotten old stinky old Bill says might need a new soldering gun, he might. God damn it. Oh, yeah, that's all cocked over and broken. Wait. I wouldn't want to touch the base right now. Well, that sucks, dick. I have a feeling it's not supposed to do that, just saying. Probably broke every goddamn wire in there. Oh yeah, it feels mint, boys. <laughs> I fucked her over, I'll tell you that right now. If it works, I'll be fucking shocked. We'll give that a minute, I'm gonna go check that battery. See what's going on, because the fan went off. Thank God I still have two 4S batteries at work. All right, how do we make out here? We get some heat into her yet? No. Nope. Shut her down, Jim. If it's not one, it's the other, boys. Oh, yeah, we got a broken wire here or something. I think she's dickered, Captain. <sighs> You've been a good solder gun, you have. I've had you for years. For now, we're just going to have to try this non-soldered. See if we get a connection, boys. Girls, peoples. There we go. So we get that in. It clips in. Let's check her, Captain. <coughs> Still no good. We got a bad one. Oh, my God. Four cell, all. 11.5. Cell one. Deckard. So we just got one bad cell, which is this one, Jim. Oh yeah, no wonder why you have a bad cell. It's like fucking all cocked over. It's not even holding on to the battery, Jim. What is really going on? So I'm not gonna be able to fix this battery until I get solder. This connection on the, the post, she's ripped and come off. Not even touching, boys. That's why we have a number one cell issue right there. So we'll get that soldered back up later at a later date, and then we'll probably be able to get this battery fired back up because that seems to be all that's wrong with it. Just remember, when you're working on these batteries, just be careful, eh? Because it could blow up your friggin' face if you're not careful, boys. Oh, yeah, that's just dickered, Captain. All right, so we'll just set this one aside for now, and we'll have to go from there, boys. Worst case scenario, I have this homemade 2S battery that... Sean did up for me. So worst case scenario, we'll just take a cell off this and we'll make that one back into a four cell. So we'll get them batteries charged. Oh, frick. So we'll get them batteries charged up over there and then we'll maybe throw them in the old, the old X Max there and take a little rip. But I've been fixing batteries, boys. I apologize. We're getting there though. Freaking right we are. All right, how you doing? I'm back. I chose a different spot because it's windier than hell out and cold out today. And you won't hear nothing if I go over there. So I'm hiding behind the shipping container. And I got a little hill over here and some dirt over here. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna play here today because I was gonna go over there, but if we'll go over there another day, we will. Right, right, we will. And we'll jump some of them hills over there, but not today. This is just gonna be a short one. Cause like I said, my body hurts today. Captain. We'll get the X-Max fired up. We'll get the drum up in the air and we'll, uh, See what we can't jump over here, boys. So I'll swing the camera this way. And this camera's just basically in case I get any good shots. And the other camera's for uh, everything else, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing yet, boys. We're gonna find out though here in a minute. Deedaloot, eh? Deedaloot. Come on. I can't even put the drone too far up in the air today because it's so damn windy. Windy, windy. Hopefully we don't have to calibrate this stupid thing again. Transmission signal lost. Come on. Nothing can just go smooth, hey? It always gotta be a dick. Cannot take off. Why the f can't we take off? Because the compass needs calibrating. Why the f wouldn't it need calibrating? Unable to calibrate. Careful. Oh, fing time.
I can't see dick all out here, boys. I apologize. Okay, we got some noises. We're gonna have to stop her voice. Maybe not. Might just be dirt, Jim. Nah, she's good. Got to calibrate the old remote ski. Well, boys, I didn't get much for you. Didn't get many jumps and this and that and the other thing, but it is what it is. It's my first time out with three cameras going and this and that and the other friggin' thing. So please give the respect, eh? I've tried my best, boys. This is just a shorty. First time back out with the X-Max. Going back to the cave, not broken. Camera shut off on it. The GoPro, when it flipped over, shut off the camera. So I don't know how much footage I get there. And this and that and the other friggin' thing. Frig! But anyways, hey! A little bit's better than nothing. Friggin' right it is. Hopefully you're all keeping safe and staying inside like I am. Well, sort of. Kinda. Hey, just down the street, boys, but I'm by myself. Gotta get out sometimes get some vitamin D, we do. Friggin' right we do. But stay safe. Don't get sick. I love you guys. You know what to do for now. <laughs>